and you know, as always, you can follow me on Instagram at TX Farm Guy for a little bit of behind the scenes stuff. You know, if you just want a little more than what I'm putting out there on YouTube, you can check out my stories like this and this, and then some of the stuff from today. Hit me up on there. I appreciate the follow. Today is one of those more stressful days. We're heading up north to go work some calves, and uh, Dad's up there catching them right now. We're about to head up there when we get the call from him. And I got a bunch of equipment with me, so it should be a good video. So stay tuned. Bus is back there getting nervous. He knows what's about to happen. We're just hoping everything goes well. Man, I had to gather so much cow work and stuff. So much camera gear. Hope I didn't forget nothing. We're about to pull up and bust out the drone. Let's go. Here we are pulling up to the main trap. Dad already had them in there when I got there. And we had two calves that were still on the outside. And with a little luck, we managed to get the white one in and uh, you know, trying not to let the other cows out at the same time. And then we got the black one to go down the fence. So that was all good. And then actually the cows started, you know, running to the smaller pen on their own. Usually we have to get behind them. And then I was like, okay, you know, dad, come pick me up. They're going up there on their own. I was like, hey, are, are you looking? Hello? I'm over here. I don't want to run the whole way. But yeah, you know, he was just fixated on driving those cows up there. Finally, he saw me and I was able to hitch a ride. This is actually one of the easiest times that I've seen where the cows just go where they're supposed to. You know, usually it doesn't go like that, but luckily it went that way this time. Now we can get to pushing them up into the working pens and get these calves knocked off the cows and a little bit of shaky GoPro footage. I'm not gonna talk through the whole video, but right here we're just sorting the cows from the calves. And uh, when they're all in this big pen like this, uh, usually the cows, they'll come out on their own. And it's real easy when there's a lot more in there, but uh, when you get down to a smaller number of head, sometimes the cows and calves wanna mix. And as you'll see here in a minute, we did let a few calves slip by, but it wasn't a big deal because we just go ahead and uh, do our sort over here down the alley. We had pretty good luck getting most of the cows out just from this big pen right here. So that made it a lot easier on us. Ready? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. Well, the sort is pretty much done. Come on. Hey, whoo. 
Don't you kick me. So sorting the cows from the calves, that didn't take too long. It all went pretty good. And next we're about to bring about 10 to 13 cows at a time and put them in this pen so we can do a, apply a pour on wormer to them and then we just turn them out. Hey. Woo. Hey. Uh. Woo. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, hey. Uh. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buster, no. Woo, woo, woo. Woo. Hey, uh, hey, hey, get up. Hey. Shh. Hey, uh, hey, uh. hey. And then things get a little iffy when the cows want to turn around from this pen. But um, usually you just gotta you just kind of watch out for them, let them go back down, and then push them back up, and it's all good from there. Woo! Hey! Woo! Hey! 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 got all the cows wormed and now it's time to work all these little fellas but I think we get the big part behind us time to work the calves and I know there's probably gonna be some people upset about the whole hot shot thing but um when you're working in this wide alley like this it's pretty much a must and just know that I'm not always I'm not always clicking the button so I feel like I just had to say that, so got that out of the way.
Not gonna lie, it got a little hot, so we took a few breaks. It got really old jumping up and down over that fence going up the alley, but we got it done, happy to have it behind us. Yep. Hey, uh about completes the calf working day uh, man I felt like I had a pretty good setup with all the cameras and the drones and everything uh, it worked out pretty well you know usually I'm always like oh I should have used this I should be doing this but uh man with the new drone the long battery and then busting out the old GoPro for the first time and I can't even remember it all worked out pretty well hopefully when I get back put this all together it'll be a breeze and I'll get it done quick but you know always know how that goes so that's it for this one uh man we're getting close to uh 10 000 subscribers been hanging around like 9.5 for the longest time but you know what they say like the cream always rises to the top or something like that no nah, i'm just kidding but uh anyways that's it for this one we'll see you next time <laughs>